What does CEO's Coinbase have to say about XRP in his lawsuit? Will XRP ever break free from this lawsuit? Is it something horrible or good news for the XRP army and his investors? Keep watching this video to find out more so that you don't miss out on an excellent opportunity to win a giveaway of 50 XRP tokens at the end of this month. Hey guys, welcome back to Whiteboard Crypto Update, the best spot for your daily dose of everything XRP and cryptocurrency. In today's video, we will talk about XRP's future, so be sure to stay focused as you surely don't want to miss out on this. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications by hitting the bell, so you never miss any of our uploads and also enter our giveaway. In a recent episode of the All In Podcast, Coinbase CEO Brian Armstrong discussed the inconsistencies in the Bitcoin regulatory landscape. His ideas on viewing cryptocurrencies as one large ocean is incorrect, and his strategy for dealing with regulatory bodies in the future is actually better for there to be a lack of clarity than for clarity that is punitive or terrible. Armstrong said when questioned about the present situation, who, if the SEC stands on cryptocurrencies, he went on to say that a lack of clarity is preferable to having clarity that stifles any industry progress. He also stated that the SEC is classification of all cryptocurrencies as securities, and the SEC versus Ripple case is Iranian. The Coinbase CEO jumped on the point that it wouldn't make sense to examine all cryptocurrencies via the same microscopic lens. He went on to say that some cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum may be commodities in contrast. Others could be securities, and some currencies like stable coins could be currencies. Crypto will be many different things. It will not be one regulator doing it, he stated. He also argued that commodities, securities, and currencies cannot be governed by the same governing organization. It must have separate regulations and regulatory agencies, such as the Security and Exchange Commission, and the Commodities Futures Trading Commission, or the Treasury. You said that some cryptocurrencies may not fit into any of these categories, making them free of regulation. On the other hand, the SEC has often questioned the nature of cryptocurrency. Commissioner Hester Pierce dissent, Gary Gensler's view on cryptocurrency regulation, and the continuing Ripple case demonstrate the SEC's position on the cryptocurrency ecosystem. Every business has to pay a lot of costly lawyers to go tease apart these old, old laws that were developed in the 1930. Armstrong said emphasizing the need for stronger cryptocurrency standard. In addition, he discussed how a new test should be constructed while keeping the Howey test in mind. He emphasized the importance of a set of definitions that clearly define the distinctions between securities, currencies, commodities, and other financial instrument. In the future, the Coinbase CEO hopes to collaborate with other cryptocurrency groups and governmental authorities to develop a new framework. In response to the question of the market fairness, Armstrong noted that the crypto executive order was a step in the right way, with the U.S. government realizing the genuine potential of innovation in the crypto space. What would be better is to have clarity that does provide proper combination of strong customer protection, ensures a level playing field and allows innovation of flourish, the CEO continued. Considering all of this, the CEO Coinbase, Brian Armstrong appears to be reconsidering the XRP listing. Isn't it apparent, guys? Regulatory clarity is coming, and the SEC will inevitably fail in the lawsuit. And the XRP price will reach an all-time high of almost $50 or over. The exciting aspect of this year's ISO 20022 introduction is that it will happen overnight. Incredibly, such a significant life-changing event will take place in just one weekend. We agreed that the expected migrations haven't been easy after less than seven months. There have been many hurdles and there are many more to come. Not only that, but once we get to the implementation stage, it will be a very stressful moment for everyone concerned. Apart from that, we're sure most of you are aware that Ripple is a member of ISO 20022. They were the first blockchain-focused payment company to enter the Standards Committee, effectively future-proofing their business for the data-rich messaging protocols, inevitable rival. Ripple's tighter association with ISO 20022 will help it develop interoperability with global payment networks and offer regulatory credibility to his linked currency XRP. Indeed, Ripple announced on his website that the world is converging on ISO 20022, the de facto global standard for digital payments. Ripple became the first member of the ISO 20022 standards organization. 
focusing on distributed ledger technology to help enable this next step in worldwide interoperability and meet their clients' increasing needs. This membership allows for the ISO 20022 Registration Management Group Standards Body to address the demands of our 300-plus clients by assisting in the evolution of ISO 20022 standard. By defining the future direction of cross-border payments standards, interoperability also enhances resilience because of one part of the system fails. The transaction may be rapidly rerouted using the same standardized data. The payment reaches also brought in due to a better payment provider compatibility, and users gain from faster, more trustworthy payments with fewer errors and increased transparency. As a result of this, the entire world is effectively convergent on a new global standard and is moving forward. The payment industry must continue to push ISO 20022 adoption to ensure that this move to the future achieves its full potential. RippleNet is in a unique position to assist its customers in taking full advantage of the ISO 20022 standards, advising on message and integration themes so that customers can simplify the deployment and decrease operating overhead. It's important to remember that the institutional global wire transfers and cryptocurrency have long been at odds. Bitcoin's rise poses a danger to the centralized international money transfer business. However, both services appear to be able to coexist and deliver the best of both worlds, according to ISO 20022. But in order to get the most out of this new standard, which crypto assets should you invest in? There are plenty of ISO 20022 cryptos to select from in 2022 compatible ISO 20022 cryptos. We experienced a surge due to SWIFT usage. Some cryptocurrencies are at risk due to ISO 20022 standard. Many analysts believe that adopting the standard will stifle the adoption of cryptos like Bitcoin as international money transfer vehicles. However, there are digital currencies that match the ISO's 20022 compliance norms making them solid best for the coming year if SWIFT adopts the format. So why is ISO 20022 important to crypto investor? We can all agree that cryptocurrencies are decentralized by nature outside of official regulation. Investors can trade assets in an uncontrolled manner. Well, this is fantastic for people who respect their privacy. It also makes it impossible to regulate the system as a result in the crypto world. The possibilities of cryptocurrencies being employed in a centralized manner by global central banks or financial institutions is now being debated. This may sound strange given that the first cryptocurrencies were designed to minimize centralization. However, as time goes on more cryptos will become ISO 20022 compliant. This is fortunate for the future because if the FSR decides to permit digital reserve currencies, these cryptos will be among the first to be investigated. Investors optimistic about cryptos, future incorporation into the global central banking system should consider these coins. XRP and other crypto assets are the forefront of this. That means that investors who bet on XRP to take over the crypto world would be rewarded handsomely. This news has already sparked a lot of debate in the crypto sphere. The bus surrounding it also feeds speculation of a possible bull run for all ISO 20022 compliant crypto. As we near the end of the video. It's worth noting that while XRP and other ISO 20022 cryptos are currently on the decline, we'll see significant profits in the long run. So while we're in the middle of a bloodbath, now is a great moment to load up on XRP and your other favorite coins. Additionally, according to the data portal coin market, the cryptocurrency market has suffered enormous losses with cryptocurrencies losing about $800 billion in market value in the last month. The crypto market domino effect starting when U.S. Federal Reserve raised interest rates last week, negatively impacting stock markets and subsequently stable coin tier USD losses advantage against the U.S. dollar. Falling as low as $0.67, cents. as a result, his backup coin Luna has lost nearly all of his value with about $16.8 billion in total value locked. Terra was the second largest ecosystem at DeFi. Two coins UST and Luna fueled the ecosystem. UST is a US dollar peg stable coin while Luna is a governance token. According to Gabriel DeBach, an analyst at Toro, the entire ecosystem is built around the UST stable coins. Bitcoin's price has fallen roughly to 27000 per Bitcoin down 12% in the last 24 hours. The wider crypto market has been affected by this slump, with the virtual currency losing value. 
Even more severe losses were seen in Ethereum, BNB, XRP, Solana, and Cardano. And in the last 24 hours, Ethereum has lost 22% of its value, while BNB, XRP, Solana, and Cardano have all lost between 25% and 33%. Despite the fact that decentralization is a selling point for the crypto market, Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies have stayed linked to the rest of the financial system, which is governed by governments. Well, guys, that's all we have for you today. What are your thoughts on XRP? Get involved and let us know in the comments down below. If you guys like this video, then be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Also, if you don't want to miss out on any new future videos then be sure to click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification under this video so that you're notified the next time we upload a video on the latest XRP and cryptocurrency news. Until the next video comes out, you can watch our other videos about XRP or other cryptocurrencies. Thank you for watching, and we will see you again in the next video goodbye.